Hey, Jitsu Kwa, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool underground here, and basically what this is, is a camping tent. And we see for the one that we got right here is from this brand. And if you guys noticed the way how they designed this tent, it is pretty cool. It basically works as a tent, but they also give you guys this option right here in front to give you guys like a cover, which is really useful, especially when it's like really sunny or if it's like raining. So the product is waterproof, but here is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So when it's first open up, here is basically what the inside looks like. But once you guys do take it out, this is basically what the inside looks like. So really cool how the product does come with this little bag for you to carry around really easily. But the front part right here, we do have the brand logo. And then right here, we do have the zipper for it to open up. So it's open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys open up, here is basically what the inside looks like. And inside the bag, they do provide guys instruction to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. So right here are all the different parts that's inside, which is probably inside right here. If you look at the back, they do provide some instruction to teach you guys how to fold it back up as well. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Let me actually open this up to show you guys how to set it up. And then we'll show you guys how to put it away as well. All right, so right here we do have the product. Let's open up. So once you guys do open up, the first thing you see inside right here are different parts. So I'm assuming inside this small little bag should be the sticks, but let's open up. All right, so this is basically what's included inside. So they basically provide you guys the strings and they also provide you guys a stick for you guys to set it up on your floor. Like I mentioned, if you guys do plan using it in the beach or if you guys plan using it in the grass, you definitely use this option right here to stick it on the floor. But for this test that we're just saying right here, we don't need to use this option. And then right here, we do have the next bag. If you guys do open up. Inside right here, we do have the different poles of support that you guys will need to actually set up to set up the tent. But let's fully open this up first. So as you guys do open up, there's basically this other part inside. So this part right here is basically the thing that I don't put on top. So I'll put this on one side for now because we don't need it just yet. We want to focus on this part right here first. All right. So once you guys fully open up this part right here, the next thing for you guys to do is to set up the pole to put it onto the part right here. I'm assuming once you guys do set up the pole, they actually start lifting it up. So the pole that one set up is basically right here. So take it out. So you basically want to stick all of them together like this. And once you guys do stick all of them together, you guys want to insert it in. So there should be two of these when you guys do use it. One that goes this way and the other one that goes that way. So when you guys set up each one of these corners right here, there's a little hook option for you guys to insert it in. So just like this right here, you guys want to hook it in. And that will basically give you guys the support when you guys do use it. So you basically want to do the same thing for each one of the corners. So once you guys do that, you guys want to do the same thing for our side as well. And it's important for you to do this step first before I do clip it on. Once you guys got all them on, you guys can flip it up and clip it together. So just like this. So now clip it on. And it's probably much easier if you guys do have someone to help you. Let's do the middle part right here first. Alright, so once you guys got the support in the middle, now you can start doing it by yourself. So it definitely took me some time to actually figure out how to do it. But once you guys figure out how to do it, it's actually pretty easy. And it shouldn't take that long for you to set it up as well. So once you guys set the product, here is basically what the product looks like. So the next step is for you guys to put the cover on top. But before we do that, I do want to show you guys what's on here first. So right here, you see we do have the brand logo. Throughout the top part right here, we do have a mesh material. So that way the product is breathable. And right here, we see we do have a zipper for us to open up. So that way you do have one way to enter. And I'm assuming for this part right here, you do have the option to hang stuff right here. Or you can also fold this inside or go like this as well. So that we can hold the door and you guys don't have to worry about keep it coming off. And when you guys do look at the inside, it's actually very spacious. There's definitely a lot of space inside. So let's do go inside. Here is basically what the product looks like once you guys do go inside. And we see right here on this side and inside right here, they do have a pocket for you to put stuff inside if you guys do want to. But basically the way how to design the product, it does have two ways for it to enter. So one on this side and one on this side. So if you guys want to close one side and open the other side or close both of them, you do have the option available. And if the top part here, they do have a little hook option where they hang stuff if you guys do want to. And there are some more stuff inside, but I'll show you guys that in a second. I do want to put on the cover first to show you guys what the product looks like. So right here, we do have the cover. Basically what I'm gonna do is put it on top. It basically want to buckle on the corner, which I'll show you guys in a second. So the way how you guys know which side it is, is the side that has a brand logo right here. All right, so let's put this over it. So once you guys put the cover on top, here it basically actually looks like. So pretty much what you guys want to do is put on the buckle right here on each one of the corners. 
and that will basically give you guys the support to prevent it from flying away. But the whole point of this cover is to put it on top, so that way when it's raining, none of the water can fall inside. But you definitely have the option to take this off if you guys want to, which is pretty cool. But if you guys can see for the front part right here, it does drag out. And the reason why is because they do have the option for you guys to lift this part up, which is basically the foyer option. So I'm actually show you guys how to set it up. So basically for the foyer option, you need to use this accessory right here. So the way how you set this up is actually pretty easy. So for the one that you see for the bottom right here, this is for the bottom. But you basically want to insert each one of these on top like this. So just like that. So basically for this part right here, it's supposed to give you guys even more support when you guys do set it up. But basically for each one of the pole or the stick, there should be one of the bottom part, two of these right here, and one of these that has the top part right here. So let's insert this part right here. And this one as well. Now they're done with the first pole. You basically want to do the same thing for other one as well. So just like this. Once you guys set it up, now I can open this part right here to set up this part right here. So the way how they designed the part right here is actually pretty cool. They do have a zipper option and a velcro to make it very secure. Same thing for our side. So the way how you set this part right here is actually pretty easy. You just want to insert it into the pole right here. And you basically tighten up this part here based on your own preference when you guys do set it up. And obviously when you guys do set the part right here, you need to put it somewhere where it's actually very stable or maybe put some rocks on here. Otherwise it won't stand up. But let's do the same thing for other one as well. So once you guys do set it up, here is basically what the plot looks like. So obviously when you guys do set it outdoor, it'll look a lot better. But this is basically the idea to show you guys what it looks like if you guys were set it up. But once you guys are done using it or if you guys don't use this option, you do have the option to take this apart and zip it back up. But if you guys notice for the top part right here, they do have the option for you guys to open up slightly. So that way you do have the ventilation option right here with the cover on. So just like that. So definitely for the cover and the foyer option is not required, but you do have the option available. So now let me take this out to show you guys what the plot looks like inside. Now that we show you guys what the outside looks like. So I'm gonna take out this part right here and the other side as well. And the way how you guys take this apart is actually very easy. All you need to do is just pull it out and it's all set with this part. Same thing for the other one. And you guys wanna take out the cover, you basically wanna unbuckle it. But before I do that, I do want to mention that throughout the product, not only right here, but if you guys notice on side right here, they also have another slot for the ventilation option. So that way you guys won't suffocate inside when you guys do use it. But now let's take out the cover to show you guys what the inside looks like really quick. All right, so once you guys take out the cover, now let me show you guys what the inside looks like. This is basically the corner. Right here, we do have each one of the pins or clip-on options. Top part right here, like I mentioned, we do have the mesh option. So that way it's breathable when you guys do use it, which is really useful, especially during the summertime when it's really hot. And right here, we do have the brand logo. Right here, we do have the zipper option for you to open it and close it really easy. And it is a dual zipper, so one inside and one outside. So that way you can open it and close it from both sides. And right here, we do have this hook option if you guys want to use it that I mentioned earlier. But once you guys do go inside, this is basically what the inside looks like. So right here and right here, they do have another hook option for you guys to probably hold the door when you guys do set up. Right here on this side, and also on our side right here, we do have like a little mesh pocket for you to put your stuff inside, like maybe your phone if you guys want to. And they do have two zippers for you guys to open it really easily. And when you guys look at the inside right here, there's a little hook for you guys to hang your stuff if you guys want to. Maybe like a flashlight or something if you guys want to. But here is basically what the inside looks like once you guys do set it up. So you see the whole setup process and everything definitely took some time to figure out how to actually set it up. But once you guys do figure out how to set it up, it shouldn't take that long. It's actually very easy and very simple. So now that we show you guys how to set it up, now let me actually show you guys how to fold it back up and put it away. So pivot the first thing I'm gonna do is to unclip each part right here first. And probably want to unclip the bottom part first before the top, because the top part is a support. So now I can take out the top part and I'm gonna do it nice and slowly. So that way you don't hurt yourself. So once you guys do that, you can take off the pole from each corner. You basically want to fold back up the pole. So very easy and very simple. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. So once you guys do that, now you can fold back everything together. So you basically want to put the poles back to where the poles are. And now you can fold this part back up. Obviously, if you guys do have someone to help you, it'll be much faster and easier. Once you guys fold that up, you have to fold back up the cover as well. And when you guys fold back up the product, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it fits back into the bag, then you should be fine. So probably put the small stuff back inside first, like the pole and the sticks.
So just like that, it's all set. So definitely the process for you guys to put it away is so much faster than you guys setting up if it's your first time using it. But once you guys keep setting up the product, you guys will get the hang of it. It'll be much easier and faster. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality camping tent, like the one that we do have right here. We'll basically give you guys an option like this and also a cover for you to put it on and the foil option as well. Then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out and it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.